Hey, what's going on? Coach Taylor here with DH Fitness. Today I want to talk to you guys about a lower back protocol that I do pretty much daily. Um, just because I've dealt with low back injuries in the past and low back pain. And I know that so many people struggle with lower backs, um, whether it's an injury or just really, really tight muscles. Maybe they sit at a desk for long hours during the day or it just keeps them from being able to perform at their best. So you want to make sure that you're going through a really good warm up and stretching routine before and after training to maintain a good healthy back as well as prevent and avoid injury. So something you want to do, um, there's only a few exercises and a few things that you need. All I use is usually a foam roller, a box, or a bench of some sort, and then some kind of pad for your knee. I'll show you in a, in a minute. So I start out, before I start my workout, um, I want to try to get the muscles in my body moving. So I'll start out with some like trunk rotations. For example, I'm reaching down and across toward the opposite foot. So I might do about 10 uh, reps each side. I do side to side lunges to stretch out the hamstrings. Um, that trunk rotation is gonna get more of the lumbar and hip. And then I get the hamstring stretch out. So I'm gonna do a side to side lunge for about 10 reps. I do usually about 15 to 20 air squats and I might even just sit at the bottom of a squat for about 30 seconds or so and just kind of let my legs and my lower back and my hips stretch out and just get a little bit more mobile, get the blood flowing there. Um, after that, I will drop down. This is probably my favorite exercise of them all. It's called the runner's lunge. So I'll go down to a push-up position and bring one foot up to the outside of my hand. And what I'm gonna do is with that same arm, I'm gonna go down toward the floor. So it's really stretching the um, hamstring and the hip. And then I rotate right toward the ceiling. And I'll do that about three or four times. Try to get a big range of motion. I always get, um, usually my lower back will kind of crack and it go into place. So I'll do that on both sides, about three or four rotations. Just got a nice, good pop in my back. So now I know that I'm in place. Another one that I do, this is my favorite stretch. You can do this before for a little bit of time, but I recommend doing it after for a longer duration. So anywhere from a minute to two minutes on each leg. All you need is a box or a bench. And what you're going to do is, it's an elevated pigeon, so throw your leg up on the box like this, and you try to sink down with your hips as low as you can. So I'm trying to push toward this hip and try to stretch this side over here. So my glute up into my hip and into my back, I'm trying to stretch that out. You're also going to get your piriformis which is another muscle that's usually very tight that leads right into the back and causes that tension. So I'm just gonna work around in this position and loosen that area up. The lower I go, I can lean forward, push to the side, rotate a little bit, and you can get different areas. I'll usually do that for 30 seconds in the beginning of a workout, and then I try to hold it for about a minute after my workout, and then I'll switch sides into the other side. Another one I like doing is I'll fold my box down to a little lower height, or if you have a bench, you can use a lower height, you can also use a wall. Um, and then I usually use a pad just for your kneecap. But you're gonna place your foot up on the box, just the balls of your feet or your uh, toes, put your knee on the pad, one foot forward, so you're almost in like a lunge position. And then you're gonna push your hip forward. And this is gonna stretch out your hip flexor. You're also gonna get a good stretch in the quad as well. So pretty much from your knee all the way up to your hip, you're getting a good stretch. So I'll hold this for, like I said with the other one, about 30 seconds in the beginning of my workout just to get a little bit of a stretch, but after the workout, about a minute to two minutes on each side. And what I'll do is kind of work my way farther forward, back. I usually like to turn to the side. Um, just kind of play around in that position to keep it um, stretching different areas of it. And then I'll switch them to the other side. Um, another one I really like doing with that is my foam rolling. So I'll usually grab a foam roller and roll out my hamstrings. So you're just sitting on the floor and you're going up and down the hamstring. I either rotate my foot inward and outward to get the inside of my hamstring and the outside of my hamstring. And then I'll work my way up to my glute. So I'm gonna sit right on it. I usually cross my leg, roll that right glute and get the same thing. Just kind of rotate from side to side. That way you're getting the whole entire muscle and then I'll work my way to my lower back. So this is your, your lumbar, um, you just go right to your elbow, make sure your legs crossed, 
and you're targeting that lumbar, you can also do it right in the center. So if you go right to the middle, just cross your hands over your chest, and then you get the lumbar here, and then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Another good idea would be to do your hip flexor and your quad. So if you go flip around, go to one knee, and roll out the quad on the right side, all the way up to your hip. You can even kind of go right to your side and get that upper outer hip right here, and then you're gonna switch it to the other side. So those are usually the foam rolling positions I do. I'll just do it until I feel like I'm relieving some of the tightness or about 30 seconds to a minute in each position. And then the last couple things that I'll tell you, if you're dealing with some kind of lower back tightness or maybe your back's out of line, some things that I do to help um, get that vertebrae to open up and get the interstitial fluid between there is cat cows, cobras, and bird dogs. So the bird dog, you're gonna go to your um, hands and knees, you're gonna extend out opposite hand and leg, tuck it in, and then extend back out. Real slow controlled motion, do about 10 reps on each side. Um, the cat cow, you're going to arch your back as far as you can, and then you're gonna round your back over as far as you can. So you're gonna go through this motion, I usually do about 10 reps really, really slow, and that's just gonna open up the vertebrae and get that fluid between there, hopefully help relieve some of that pain. And then the last one, the cobra, you're gonna go down to a push-up position and push yourself up and just let that lower back stretch out. What that's doing is it's actually going to help push the interstitial fluid from the back side of your vertebrae to the front. So your spine will curve at the bottom, almost like a little S. And a lot of times, because we're sitting hunched over all the time, that fluid gets pushed to the back. So the front of the vertebrae doesn't have enough fluid between it. Um, so you're pushing that fluid back to the front where it's supposed to be in that cobra position. So those are the exercises and stretches that I do every single workout pretty much. I like to roll and stretch before and after. Um, you definitely want to focus on more of a duration of a stretch afterward and just kind of get through the motions and get the blood flowing in the beginning of the workout. So going through air squats, side to side lunges, you're getting the blood flowing and you're getting those muscles warm, that's going to help relieve some of that pain and tightness and you're gonna prevent injury. So try this out, hopefully it helps. If you have any questions, let us know. We'll see you guys in the next one.